okay. It's January the 1st, and I'll show you some update here. <clears throat> I'm gaining ground, but I found out that my uh, biggest issue was in, in uh, driving these push-pull grids. Let me show you what I get out of it now. I'm going to have to really think this through. I got the impedances figured out on the transformer, and I'm just about as lucky as I could ever hope to be because I get a good match, 9,500 ohms, plate to plate, to 4 ohms or 8 ohms, so I can have either. And here's what I've got it up to now. I've been using these old resistors out here, but these things get so hot and start stinking so bad, and then they change resistance, they start going down in resistance. But I'm going to plug them in. These are nice and cold. I haven't heated them up yet. They have a really good temperature coefficient, so they don't uh, change resistance, but I don't want to burn them up, because look what this thing will put out now that I'm driving it properly. There's its output right there in watts. 1135, there's its voltage, 95.2. 1130 watts, 1126, 95.9, 95.2, whatever, um, 95.2 squared, 8 divide, there's the same number, 1132, 1132 watts. So it's actually really pumping out the power and um, this is what my, my grid signal looks like when it's not being driven. Now when I crank the uh, plate voltage up, it straightens out. I'll do it again for a short period of time. See, I'm driving it right up. If I had more drive power, I could get more output power. So my problem is to drive. And see, there's the tubes. They're not too red because uh, their power is going out and my resistor is going tick 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 I don't want to smoke my expensive resistors so there's an update so I'm getting over 1100 watts out of it right now I got to get myself a better dummy load I don't know what I'm, how I'm gonna do that unless I just get one so monstrous that uh, it can't heat up and then I've got to think this through completely because I don't really want to mount this as the driver transformer the driver transformer I put in there is this little guy right here so we'll see. It's coming along. I'm still shooting for the 1.3 kilowatts. I might add that I have tried these uh, pair of 4-400s and these pair of 2-250s and they perform quite well. I get like 800 watts out of them uh, because I've got the screen tied to the grid. They're actually tetrodes the uh, these are actual real triodes uh, these tetrodes can be run as grounded grid zero bias in uh, RF amplifiers and they actually work here too but I can't get the the power out of them uh, as I can the these the parallel 3 400 Z's because everything about them actually matches that transformer that's just I'm just very pleased with that because if that had been wrong There'd be no hope. So I don't know where I can get one of those monsters. But uh, like I said, I still got to solve that problem. But anyway, I get less power out of these guys. So I don't think there's any sense in trying to 4-125s. Just thought I'd throw that in there. I'm going to have to stick with the uh, 3 400 zs Maybe find a couple of spares out on uh, eBay or something.